achieving optimum tracking ability and transient ability at the same time is difficult indeed. But it's possible, as our new 2002E Electret cartridge demonstrates, on demanding selections like the ones you'll be hearing. The Freedom Train's a rolling down 200 years of track, 200 years of glory, never to turn back. The train is called America, your ticket is the dream that lit the torch of freedom for all the world to see. She left the station in Lexington in 1776 and rode to Philadelphia where the Liberty Bell was fixed. George Washington was the engineer, John Adams shoveled coal, Ben Franklin punched the tickets, Tom Jefferson added so.
On the second side of this disc, we recorded seven challenging selections and excerpts to really put your cartridge through its paces. But before you rush to flip the disc, I'd like to give you some brief pointers on what to listen for. Our first selection, Free, features the hard-driving, intense sounds of a jazz orchestra rolling along at full throttle. The opening drum solo is enough to make a cartridge non-linear. All drums, bass, tom-tom, hi-hat, bongos, and snare must be crisp and clearly differentiated from one another without dulling the clean attack of the cymbals. The raucous declaration of the bass trombone should be biting without distorting appearing between drums on either side. As more instruments join in, screaming trumpets, biting baritone sax and others, you should still have a keen sense of instrumental placement. As the duel between the brass goes on in dialogue with percussion, concentrate on the tone detail and lack of distortion, especially in the brass. Many cartridges won't even get past this first selection. The second selection, excerpted from Darius Miod's La Création du Monde, presents a different challenge, using a full classical orchestra. It starts simply, introduced by piano, snare, and bass drums, then joined by cello, double bass, and trombones. As the composer weaves his complex musical texture, listen for clean musical detail that's maintained as strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion create patterns of suddenly shifting emphasis and exclamation. Listen for precisely defined spatial relationships as groups of instruments make and echo musical statements, while the changing panorama of sound shifts across the orchestra all converging in a dramatic high-intensity transient climax. Your cartridge should maintain clean sound without audible distortion right to the end. The next hurdle is an electronic one, the Moog synthesizer, joining with lively percussion in this highly syncopated rendition of the Lover's Concerto. The Moog's complex system of oscillators, generators, and filters enables it to produce unusually pure and unusually demanding tones and harmonies at all frequencies. Listen for clean, transparent reproduction of the Moog, complementing the sharp transients from the percussion. Separation between the two channels should be clear and distinct as well throughout the many variations within the piece. Raspy tones and percussion in one channel should not interfere with smooth harmonic tones in the other. The next selection is an old Leroy Anderson favorite, the typewriter song, played by a full symphony orchestra. Its staccato typewriter tones provide sharp transients that must be crisp and clean. As you listen, the stereo effect should be readily apparent as the typewriter sound moves from left to right and back again, signaled by a clear, open bell tone. And as always, the string and brass musical material should be unimpeded by the goings-on in the foreground. If your cartridge lacks the definition this selection requires, you're not hearing all the music on your records. This next piece will give your cartridge a devil of a time. It's the Devil's Dance from Stravinsky's L'Histoire du Soldat, notable for its raucous brass, deep, high-intensity drums and cymbals, and gutty violin sound as the strings on the left and center left mock the brass and percussion on the right. Since this is a complex piece both rhythmically and tonally, listen for sharp instrumental definition and precise location between the pair of stereo speakers. Watch out for drums or brass overpowering the violin solos. Our sixth piece, I Can't Share Love, features brass, brass, and more brass, courtesy of Peter Schickele. Biting brass, brass in harmony, brass in sparkling conversation, 
Listen for the crisp, characteristic biting attack of the brass, but listen for the detail beneath as well. There's a cymbal on the right in the first opening bars. There's a harp in the bridge and a solid, intricate bass line beneath. In the middle of the piece, listen for detail in the percussion, including bells, tambourines, snare drums, and cymbals. Still further on, listen for the strong bass contrasting against the bells and harp, which should remain clear and open. The last selection takes us to the ballet, the sandpaper ballet that is, played by Maurice Abravanel and the Utah Symphony Orchestra. Here, a full symphony orchestra contrasts with the crisp staccato sounds of sandpaper blocks. Listen for the bite of the brass, the timbre of strings, and the clarity of the woodwinds. But above all, listen to the brushing, swishing sound of the blocks and their precise location at left and right. Even before you think about it, your ears will know if the sandpaper sounds too mushy or too raspy. You should be able to hear seven or eight distinct colorations in the sandpaper sounds, including the subtle shadings between one set of shuffles and another. Listen, too, for the crescendo as the piece nears its close, the abrupt change to pianissimo, then crescendo again. Throughout these changes, your cartridge should respond easily and effortlessly. Now you're ready to make your cartridge face the music. Before you do, two more suggestions. First, some of these selections contain high-intensity materials that might be too much for some speakers. So you may wish to experiment with volume control settings before sitting down to serious listening. Also, if you're concerned that some of the distortion you hear comes from your speakers, you might want to listen with a pair of headphones as well. By the way, after you've used the music for testing, relax and play it a second time for enjoyment. Because enjoying good music is what it's all about. <laughs> 